Hello and welcome to another update video about Solana. So in the Solana chart, we are um, currently looking at yeah, still this corrective rally to the upside. I mean, if you want to call it a rally, it's, it's essentially just a corrective move to the upside. Definitely prone to changes. Um, that's what the structure is telling me. It is um, looking like really a corrective move, but it doesn't look finished yet. Yeah, and I see on many charts the potential to push a little bit higher maybe after another low or so and we will talk about that but yeah i mean there is as you know the overall bullish scenario which is here in yellow from a larger degree fourth wave on the 5th of august a wave one to the upside a wave two to the downside and then a third wave rally four five okay this is what i'm tracking here for the yellow scenario and then um, from here, yeah, this, this third wave could obviously start, could take us to $208, happy days, but is this likely? Not based on the microstructure, okay? So not based on the movements that started on the 6th of September low, absolutely not. So this is all extremely difficult. Um, I am tracking here, yes, a possible one, two setup. Mm. But it's obviously, as I said before, it's not high probability, also not based on what Bitcoin is doing. If you trade it, just be very much aware that microstructures can change. That's especially true because of this microstructure that started on the 6th of September, which is just extremely choppy to the upside and just so prone to changes. Okay, it is so prone to changes. What we see here on this pattern as well is that the move up from that swing low that formed on the 6th of September, it just consists of three wave structures. So the initial move up was an ABC. So I've labeled that wave A. Then there was a pullback in three waves. So we did look for higher here and yeah, it did move higher, but only in three waves again. So it could simply be an overshooting B wave internally. And now this looks like a possible five wave move down in wave C of B before we go higher. Yeah? I hope that's clear. I mean, if that microstructure confuses you, yeah, I, I guess it does because this is just corrective mess and it's literally just noise. The levels are all, let's say, defined. And all I'm saying is we could get a, a start of a C wave rally from here, but that would all be part of a larger correction. Okay, so this is the support area. I've slightly adjusted it for this video for today. It's between $124.28 and $131.18. And I would not be surprised if this C wave down could get another low, okay? Because, I mean, I, I really dislike micro counting, but this could be a one, two, three, four, five. I haven't labeled it because I'm already on the smallest wave degree and there's just, it's just pointless to label the micro patterns um, of a B wave correction. But I can tell you that this looks like a three wave move down so far. But if this really is an ABC, then the C wave should have five waves. But more important than that are the micro um, support levels here. So $124.28, $127.11, $129.13 and $131.18. And then if a C wave rally starts from here, I would pay attention to $145.48 and $153.18 next first we need to see and that is going to be important today tomorrow whether the market can find support here in this micro support area at the moment there is no convincing um let's say there's no convincing indication that a low is in place in wave c of b and yeah i'm, I'm giving my best here to give you a, a micro structure that could work bigger picture obviously nothing has changed this could still be regardless of the microstructure, some kind of a third wave rally, but that requires further proving. But it could also simply be, and that's what the microstructure lends itself to a little bit more now, is that this is some kind of a corrective, larger corrective rally, right? Maybe wave B, and in wave B, we are looking at a W, X, Y structure, and in the Y wave, an ABC. Now, if that hurts your brain or makes your brain hurt, yeah, I guess so you know, that, that's what it should do because it's completely messy. But still we can identify some, you know, support and resistance levels. That means I think the levels are clear that I'm watching for today. And I mean, you can, you can use that micro swing high here at $138 as indication that we're going up in wave C, but 
Best is just focus on the FIP levels here. And uh, But yeah, Bitcoin is under a bit of selling pressure, which is not uh, surprising given the break of upper micro support. So Solana might also give us one, one more low. That's the update about Solana. Hope you liked the update. If you did, please hit the like button, leave a comment and subscribe. And if you really like the content, then please check out the channel membership. Also, make sure that you follow us on Instagram and Twitter for additional content. Thanks a lot for watching. Bye-bye.